Guys, I'm trying to do like the thumbnail. Hello, fresh. That's so like. Hey guys, it's Manaya. Welcome to the Manaya Show. Today, as you can see by the title, I will be trying Hello Fresh for the first time. If you don't know what Hello Fresh is by now, you probably live at the bottom of a lake. But basically, Hello Fresh is basically like a meal subscription box service where you get a big box delivered to your house full of uh, ingredients and it comes with like recipe cards and everything you literally need to make recipes for the week. And you can choose what kind of meals you want to make. Of course, also, you make these meals. So it's not like food coming to you. You have to make it. And it's like you're like a little chef. You get to be a chef for a little bit. Like, you get to like be all innovative. So basically, you could choose what you want. Like, meat plus veggie meal. You can choose vegetarian. I think they have vegan options. Calorie smart. Or just basically, you can choose what kind of meals you want. The ones I got are the beef bologna bowl. I got like... Uh, a chicken taco and I also had some like ravioli with chicken sausage and I'm super excited to try it because I love to cook and try new things and if you like that too stay tuned for the rest of this fun video with Hello Fresh where you get to see my true opinion my thoughts and my culinary creation so the first meal that I will be making is the pineapple salsa chicken tacos I'm pretty excited about this so basically, it comes with the tortillas, so you can, you know, how do you make tacos without tortillas? And it comes with cilantro, and I thought this was like the cutest thing ever. It comes in like a cute little bag. And it comes with chicken breast strips, of course, and a little bag. A pepper, a lime, an onion, this Tex-Mex paste. It comes with a custom blend by HelloFresh. It's basically like a seasoning packet. Sour cream, because you know, what's a taco without sour cream and like pineapples in this little like Lunchables kind of cup. I thought that was kind of cool. The first step was to marinate the chicken in a large bowl and put all the seasonings like the Tex-Mex paste, the pineapple juice, and the seasoning blend. But first, what I'm going to do is wash the chicken. It did not state that, but I just feel like it's a very necessary step. So I basically just basically rinse the chicken. I'm going to do an extra step and just clean the chicken. I'm gonna add some vinegar to clean the chicken because I don't believe chicken is clean unless there's like a little bit of vinegar in mine. Like, you know, then just add a little bit of that. This is the chicken. I'm going to add some lime juice to it so it can get clean because I just feel like I have to do this. I'm just breaking the rules a little bit. Okay, so here I'm basically adding all the seasonings. It said to add the Tex-Mex paste, uh, the seasoning spice blend, and the pineapple juice from the pineapple cup. And I'm just mixing it. I did add salt, like it said. I also added some of my own seasonings that I had in my pantry just to give it a different taste. I added a seasoning called like taco truck seasoning. And it's like a low sodium seasoning I thought would be good to add to give it more of like that good flavor. So here I've laid out all the produce I needed, um, which is the pineapple, the onion, the lime, the pepper, and the cilantro. So basically it says that I need to roughly dice the pineapple, slice the onion, and cut the pepper into strips and dice up the cilantro. And this is everything I'm going to need for the salsa and for the chicken mix. So here I'm basically just gonna add a little bit of extra seasoning. I wanna make sure it's really good. So this is just some seasoning I have. Slap your mama, yeah, slap your mama. Got it from, but got this at Publix, if you guys know where that is. It is Mexican taco truck seasoning. And it has it's a very low sodium. So it's not gonna do too much of a change to the way the food is supposed to taste. So here I went ahead and prepared the salsa. All I had to do was get the pineapple, onion, cilantro, and add lemon pepper. 
and I just mixed that. You could add salt or whatever other thing you want, but I added lemon pepper to give it a kick. Okay guys, so basically now I'm going to start cooking the veggies. I am going to use some avocado oil spray. I always use this in my cooking, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to my skillet. I use a skillet to do most of my cooking, so we're going to do it on here. So we did that, and I'm just going to go ahead and add the peppers and the onions. So I'm just going to go ahead and just cook the vegetables and let them brown and soften. And it says add salt and pepper. So what I'm going to do is bring back the lemon pepper because I love lemon pepper. And I'm going to just add a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add the marinated chicken. It's been marinating for like 20 minutes. Um, I added a little extra seasoning, but now it's ready to be added. It's smelling like so good right now. Like, it's not even playing. It smells so good. That's, mm, that's something else. It's not add a little bit of honey it, it didn't say to add honey but i think i'm gonna add a little bit just to like pick it up a notch and yeah so i'm gonna let that cook for a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and let this chicken cook the next time you see me this chicken will be on a taco so stay tuned the end results are coming soon i just think you guys really need to see how pretty and beautiful this looked Right here, I'm just adding the meat to the tortillas. I did warm them up for about a few seconds in the microwave just so they can be all nice and soft and warm. And I'm putting just uh, the amount of meat that I want. I didn't, didn't use too much. But yes, the tortillas are looking quite nice. And now I'm just folding them, making them look aesthetically pleasing because that's what we want. I am a chef. So yeah, there we go. tacos the chicken tacos i've never had a chicken taco before so this is something different that i don't usually eat um but yeah this is the first recipe i'm gonna try it and let you guys know if it's like good or not okay guys so i'm really excited i'm gonna have my first bite and i'll let you guys get like an honest review of like how it tastes so i'm gonna take my first bite I feel like it's gonna drop. Mmm. Mmm, it's actually pretty good. Like. Right. It's really good. Like, the salsa really makes it taste really good. It's really good. I can taste like this, the spice blend in the chicken. The salsa is like tangy. It's really good. I don't like it because it tastes like, it's good, but it has that homemade taste that's like good. Like, it's really good. It's yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 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 Okay. I'm gonna 
finished eating. So this was the first meal. It was really good. I'll let you guys know how the next turn out. So I'm going to give you my review on all the HelloFresh meals I had and my basically what I think of HelloFresh as a whole. Basically, I really like HelloFresh. I think the whole concept of HelloFresh is very cool. It's very different. You get a chance to try different meals that you probably wouldn't have made on your own because I honestly make the same foods every day like without HelloFresh. So it does give you like a fresh take on some new dishes. but. I honestly would not um, purchase HelloFresh again. I did have a free trial, so I don't think that I would actually purchase it because I'm someone who already likes to cook and I know how to cook different dishes. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at cooking already. I buy all my groceries, so it was. It's not really a, it's not really a hassle in my day-to-day -day routine to just go to the grocery store, buy what I need, and make a new meal for that day. So HelloFresh was a good thing to try different foods, but honestly, I feel like for the price of what it is, it's not worth it if you're someone who likes to cook normally and knows how to incorporate and try new dishes but if you are someone who tends to spend like hundreds of dollars a week on eating out like getting fast food or going like going to restaurants and ordering food doing takeout then I feel like HelloFresh is something good that you can definitely try I don't know if I would say I would do it long term because I feel like the amount of money you're spending is it's not, if you're someone who like spends that much on eating out, I would say it's a good thing, but if you're someone who doesn't really do that, like I don't eat out very often and I make most of my food, so it's not, HelloFresh is not made for the person like me. For the college student, I would say it's not really the most economical choice. Like you might as well just make your own food, but it was fun, I would say. Um, another thing about the HelloFresh, I feel like the ingredients are kind of repetitive. Like in every meal, I use sour cream and I use scallions. I don't like using sour cream that much. And not to say that scallions are bad, it's just a, it's a poor little vegetable minding its own business. But I just feel like they kind of use like the same ingredients for the same thing. Even though it's a different meal, most of the ingredients are the same, so I feel like it's okay. And honestly, also the serving size is definitely inaccurate. I, um, I purchased the two serving size meal plan and honestly it does not work out for me like some for some of the dishes like the rice bowl definitely the rice could not serve two people like i ate it all in one day all of the rice that was meant for two people it honestly was not enough for two people realistically it was not i mean you could kind of split the servings to make it work out but it's not going to be an adequate meal and there's no leftovers which is okay if you don't want leftovers if you just want to try a new meal you don't want to like eat the same thing the next day but some of the meals i was able to split because um but some of them honestly it was not enough food but overall hello fresh it's very fun it was really cool to try to make some new dishes that i've never made before but thank you for watching try hello fresh if you like it let me know if you have tried it um leave a comment down below thank you for watching and have a good day